Hello, my lovely friends. My name is Ava, and today I'm here to talk about novellas. It is no secret that I love novellas. I think they're such fun palette cleansers. When I don't know what to read, I just pick up a novella. They're always super fun, super hot, or super cute, whatever the case may be. I love novellas. They're just like such a breath of fresh air. Sometimes I don't feel like reading a 400 page book. I just want a short little quick read to make me feel good. So I pick up a novella. So today I'm going to be talking about novellas that I love that have audiobooks because I'm also primarily an audiobook listener, an audiobook reader. And yes, audiobooks count as reading. Don't fight me on this, please. <laughs> um, so anyway, these are novellas that I love that have audiobooks that you should check out. I think the majority of them I got off of my Libby like they're through your library, but I bet all of them are also on Audible. So go check them out. I will also let y'all know which ones are exclusively on Audible because there are some audiobooks that are only on Audible. So one that is only on Audible is Coming Home by Kennedy Ryan. This is my first and only Kennedy Ryan. I have a few Kennedy Ryan books, but I have yet to read them. I just know that she's going to break my heart into a million pieces, but I know she'll put me back together. It's just like, I'm stressed about the emotional wreckage she will put me through. So I decided to start out with a cuter one. <laughs> So this is a short, quick novella. It's like second chance, kind of. So these two knew of each other in college and then they see each other again in a reunion, I wanna say, a college reunion and things happen. There's like the college setting. It's actually really fun. I think both characters are kind of like famous now, which has a cute little twist with the audiobook is fantastic. The narrators do a fantastic job. Another book that is so similar to that, you have two characters who knew of each other, um, but this was high school. They knew of each other in high school and then they meet each other at a reunion and they're like, ooh, doggy, you look fine, um, is set by Alexandria House. If you want a hot one, this one is it. Whole series consists of novellas and I believe all of them have audiobooks. All of them are on my Libby. So go check out your Libby or whatever audiobook service you use through your library. Um, but again, yeah, these two see each other at a reunion. They have this hookup situation, um, but then it turns into more where they keep getting with each other. And then there's also like other dynamics like the heroine um, because she's a single mom, she has older children. Some things are going on with her children and stuff like that. So definitely gave me vibes also to coming home. I also thought A Walk in the Park by Rebecca Weatherspoon was so stinking cute. This one is also only available on Audible. These two characters, so they really want to adopt this specific dog at the shelter in town. And um, the shelter apparently had some mix up with their system, signed both of them up to adopt the dog. So the day they go in to adopt the dog, they're like, uh, I'm here for this dog what are you doing they don't know each other but um there's like a mix-up and apparently both of these people were supposed to adopt this dog and they're both in love with the dog so they decide to co-parent the dog <laughs> like you get them half the week and i get them the other half of the week and it's really cute and the two of them like fall for each other when they get to know each other more and through them being co-parents for this dog then i have dirty filthy rich men by laurel and page i believe this is the prequel to her dirty filthy men series. I've only read book one, but this is the prequel. I can't say much about this book because I don't want it to be a spoiler, um, but let's just say this is a love triangle romance. These three characters met in college and then they see each other all over again when they're all grown up and things happen, okay? Then I have Heat Haven by Sarah Blue. I recently read this one. The second book could also be considered to be a part of this video as well because the audiobook exists for that one. And I think also number three, and all of them are kind of like novella length. These are Omegaverse books. The first one, um, the heroine is going into heat for being an Omega. And she decides to get some men to service her at this like company you can sign up for to be in heat at. And this is her romance with the few like guys who are going to service her during her heat. And then it kind of like turns into something more, but these are hot, like, if you want hot Omegaverse books, definitely pick this one up. I also would love to mention that time I got drunk and saved a demon by Kimberly Lemming. <laughs> this one is so stinking fun. Um, this is like fantasy rom-com. Um, our heroine, her name is Cinnamon. She lives in this fantasy world where demons exist. Humans are scared of demons. 
Okay, and they're kind of also enslaved to humans. Some humans don't know that though. Anyway, the heroine ends up accidentally like dumping cinnamon on this one demon who is our hero and he wakes up from this spell. He's been mind controlled by like the goddess of the land that these humans worship. Turns out she's a witch. She's like an evil witch and she's been controlling all these demons for years and he's like, okay, we got to put that cinnamon on like everybody because like you got to wake up all these demons and they go and do a quest to go defeat this wicked witch essentially. But it is so funny. I love these books. Kimberly Lemming makes me laugh so hard. I love her and her world building is so cool. I just love her humor and her writing style. I love her books overall. And the narrators for these do an impeccable job. They like deliver the humor like so well. I have a whole novella series for you because it's all in one. So the bind up of these novellas is, sh well, it's called Shift by Ruby Dixon. Ruby Dixon wrote a bear shifter series. Okay, I think there's five or six. Five? No, six? I don't know. Girl, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not good with numbers. Anyway, there's five or six novellas in this bind up, and you can only get these books as a bind up now. Um, and even the audio isn't bind up, it's called Shift. So there's five separate or six separate novellas, and all of them are about people who live in this bear shifter town. The humans don't really know that bear shifters exist, um, but the bear shifters primarily live in this town, and each of them have their own faded mate story. My favorite one in the series is Shift Just Got Real, which is book number three. And um, whew, that one is really good. It's age gap, faded mate, romance. I really like that one. Um, but yeah, I, oh, there's five. There's five books. Haha, ha, I just see on there. There's five. I was partly right okay um anyway so the novellas in here are really fun if you want like bear shifter romances go pick up this mind up and then i also have to recommend little slice of hell by cleo evans this is a hot okay hot mm monster romance um so this is the first book in the creature cafe series i've only read this first book because let me just tell you i will not read these books if they are not on audio because whoever cleo evans hired to narrate this book this man's voice i only want to listen to his voice for the rest of my life like <laughs> it is intoxicating like i am obsessed with this man's voice and i want to listen to everything that he's narrated and i don't think he's narrated anything else except for these books so i need them to come out please i need them please okay the audiobook fan freaking tested because this man's voice is literally making me drool like i love his voice i'm a person who's obsessed with like voices and stuff and like this man's voice can get it okay he can get it anyway this is the first book in the creature cafe series where there's a bartender who kind of has this magical ability to find like mates for like find someone's perfect person and so he does that with these two males one of them is a human and one of them is like a monster creature really fun really hot i definitely want to read more but again i need more audio okay then all the rest are historicals so first i have four Tessa Dare novellas. Um, we have a few, three books, three books in the Spindle Cove series that are all on audio. Um, Once Upon a Winter's Eve, which is, um, I think book number 1.5. This one is kind of like a second chance hidden identity romance. Really fun. I do recommend the, reading these in order, by the way. I definitely recommend reading them in order or after you've already read the main series because I feel like you'd be kind of lost if you just read them by themselves. Um, there is one Tessa Dare novella that you can read as a standalone, which I will get to in a minute. One of my favorite books overall in the whole entire Spindle Cove series is one of these novellas and that is Beauty and the Blacksmith. This is book number 3.5 and our heroine in here is like a lady I think or like from, someone from high society visiting Spindle Cove and um, if you don't know Spindle Cove is a very small town full of like spinsters during historical romance period okay um, there's very few men <laughs> um, but this is about our heroine whose mom just wants her to find like this advantageous marriage wants her to marry like a duke or someone with a title but she ends up falling for the town blacksmith instead and will like purposefully break her own jewelry in order to go visit the blacksmith because like she wants to see him because she's crushing hard i love that one and then we also have book number 4.5 which is lord of dashwood missed out this one is really fun so our heroine in here she was kind of jilted by her next door neighbor who is also like the love of her life growing up um and he like left her without a word she became a writer and she started writing this serial titled Lord Ashwood missed out <laughs> um, and it's basically talking about all of the things that the man who she was in love with missed out on because he chose to not be with her and it's based obviously off of Lord Dashwood who was that guy and people kind of like know it's about him so it's kind of been like scandalous 
okay, for him. Anyway, so this is their romance when the two of them get stuck in a carriage together. The Tessa Derbuck that I was talking about a second ago, the one you can read as a total standalone, is The Scandalous, Dissolute, No Good, Mr. Right by Tessa Dare. This one totally read as a standalone. So this book kind of like takes place in time jumps where these two characters meet at like balls every other month or a year or so goes by, they see each other at balls. They keep running into each other and they have fantastic banter. And I don't really know what else to say. They just keep bumping into each other at events and um, they're bickering, they're bantering. I do remember though that um, like the hero can't pursue the heroine because she's not technically like out in society because she's the youngest of all of her sisters and she technically cannot like go out into society until her sisters are married, like her older sisters. So like, that's why the hero also can't pursue her. And then my last series that I would love to mention that all have audios, they're all novellas, is the Fallen series by Nicola Davidson. I completely blame Rachel from Rachel Recent Sings for getting me hooked on these books and this author, because I completely like marathoned all three of them in like one sitting for like a novellathon that we once did. I don't remember which one, but yeah, each of these are novella length, they're historical romances. I would say either number two or number three is my favorite. Number two, the heroine's more of like a dom character okay compared to the hero and then the other one is have like a scottish hero which i'm always obsessed with scottish men anyways there you have it those are a bunch of novellas on audio for you to go check out let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to and also let me know down below what audiobooks you love that are also novellas because i definitely should add more books to this list anyways thank you all so so much for watching i will see you all soon in my next one bye all